Hello and welcome back to Buggles Kelly Station. I'm Tom and this is a project I've been working on for what seems like years. I am pleased to announce I can now reveal my model of Gladstone, the star of the 1937 Will Hay comedy, Oh Mr Porter. And there she is. Isn't she a beauty? This is the latest addition to my model shop and it's now available to order at the link in the description. It's taken a lot of trial and error to get the model to this stage. I've had to make a couple of compromises, mainly using an 060 Electro Trend chassis and not the 240 one that's prototypical to the film. This has been the biggest issue and the delay in getting Gladstone ready for the market, but I wanted it to be available for more customers and with no 240 chassis readily available, I think the compromise is justified. I began the design using Tinkercad, basing the measurements on stills from the film, available drawings and photos taken on the set. I've had to make some compromises to fit the chassis, but overall the loco looks very close to the one on screen, and I've even included cab detail and some destination boards for firewood. Here, yeah, you can't destroy these! Well, they're company property, destination boards. Look, Belfast, Tipperary, Dublin, Cheltenham. Oh, you can burn that one. Lots of test prints later, I had a model I was happy with, and so the model was cleaned, cured and primed. The body shell is available unprimed, primed and hand-painted, and this is how I paint the model. Once primed, I begin by attaching the small details to the main body. These are the chimney, buffers and steps, which all attach with glue. The resin is essentially plastic, so I use Loctite 406. Once the glue's dry, I apply a coat of Humbrol Matte Black, which gives a satin, metallic look, and it's ideal for the logo finish. Next, I use some tiny Humbrol masking tape to mask around the finer details, including the name boards, buffer beams, and whistle. The paints I use are from Humbrol, and the buffer beam red is number 174 Signal Red Satin. Against the black base, this needs a couple of coats and dries much nicer than it looks in the video. Then I paint the wooden cab floor with number 29 Dark Earth. This colour is also a good base for the nameplates and the pipework in the cab. The signs on the bunker and the faces on the cab dials are painted in number 34 white matte. For the dome and small brass details I use number 54 brass metallic. The buffers get a coat of number 53 gunmetal metallic. Now for the messy part. Weathering is done using DCC Concepts weathering powders, mostly black, brown rust and pale grey. I apply using a mixture of makeup brushes and fine pens. I build up dirt and rust around the model. These powders stick really well, once applied they don't come off very easily, so make sure you're not wearing any nice clothes. Speaking of which, t-shirts are available on my website. You're wasting your time! You only need a tiny amount of powder, and it's best to build up small amounts as it's hard to remove if you go too far. I paint some light grey streaks from the dome and water tanks, as if it's water running down the sides. And using a fine paintbrush, I add a trickle of Humbrol Gloss Coat to represent leaking water. When dry, this retains the wet look. The loco body is then attached to an Electrotren 060 chassis. I add a small blob of black tack to keep it in place. And Gladstone is finally on the boil. What is it, the rocket? That's Gladstone. Lovely lines, ain't she? So thank you to everybody who encouraged me to produce the model. Um, I was apprehensive, but I'm really pleased with how Gladstone's turned out. As always, if you place an order, please bear in mind I'm working on my own, uh, so these can take some time, especially the hand-painted option, which takes a lot longer than the unpainted one. 
Uh, Bogle Skelly Station and Signal Box are also available to order, and still in the pipeline are model figures of Porter, Harbottle and Albert, so keep an eye out for them. The next models to look out for in the Will Hay range are my Turn Bottom Round Wagon, which is due in September, and for the first time ever, I'm doing an O-Gage Bogle Skelly Wagon. Now, there's only about 10 of these left, um, so if you want to order one, they're due in in November. Please feel free to add me on Twitter, join the Will Hay Appreciation Society if you're not a member already, and follow my Tom Marshall's Model Dioramas page on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Bye.